the first thing we're going to do is add a background to our view. So search for UI image view in this library pane and then once you've found it just drag it here it automatically expands drop it and in the inspector panel here in the upper right hand corner you can actually choose the images that you've imported into your project. So I'm going to pick felt. I've got this felt sort of background now. And just a quick note, the buttons here in the upper right control your workspace. So don't forget that if you're not seeing a particular window or pane, so make sure you've got the tabs that you want opened. And here's the assistant editor, which you've used before in the basics series. And here's a single view. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a view that represents each die. And we're going to do that by right clicking here and creating a new file. And you're going to want to make sure that you're under iOS here. You're going to create an Objective-C class. And I'm just going to name it Die View. And it's going to be a subclass of UI View. Now, if you don't know what a subclass is, you should watch, I think it was episode, uh, episode 9 of the basic series that tells you what it is. So I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to save it there. And so now we have a new Die View class that is a UI View, which we can put into the storyboard, put into view. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I wanna add two of those die views to my storyboard here. So I'm gonna type in UI view. And this just adds a generic view to your page. Uh, what you have to do is go up here in the inspector uh, pane, and then there are a couple of tabs up here. So you can see go to the tab where you can specify a custom class right now it's a ui view but you can basically you're telling this storyboard that this view that you put on the storyboard should actually be a die view so you can select it from there like that and just like there are tabs up here in the library pane down here there are tabs as well so make sure if you don't see uh, the ui element library that you're on the right tab okay so i'm just going to specify some dimensions for it. So 100 width and 100 height. I'm just going to eyeball it here. And what I can actually do is I can click this guy and go command C and command V and create a second copy of it. Now there's this handy button right here in the lower left hand corner show document outline that shows you, you know, what sort of elements that you have on the page. I'm also going to want to add a UI label to tell us what the sum is. Let me just stretch that out a little bit. And in the inspector panel in the upper right, I'm going to change it to a centered view. I'm going to put it in the middle. It just snaps into place. And I'm going to give it some default text. Click to roll. Now i got to add the button so that they can actually click something. Now search for UI button. And I'm going to want to make sure that my button has a background. So I scroll down here in the properties panel, give it a white background, switch to this tab and give it some width and height. I want to go back and give it some default text. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Now we want to expose these UI elements to the view controller so that we can manipulate them and reference them. And now you've done this before in the basic series, so this shouldn't be any surprise, but go to the system editor view. I'm running out of space, so I'm just going to hide this little shelf there. Remember, you use these buttons as you need them. Okay, now you want to be looking at the header file and you hold down control, click the UI element and drag. And you get this blue line and put it right under the interface. I'm gonna call this the roll button. So it's automatically created an IB outlet for me to reference that element. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the label. Hold down control, drag it over. I'll call this the sum label. And I'm gonna do it for this first die. I'm gonna call it first die view and do it for the second one and call it second die view. Now you can see here in the header file that Xcode is complaining about these two properties because it doesn't know about the die view class. What we have to do is 
type this import statement in here to import the header file of the die view so that this file, this view controller file, can go look at dieview.h and kind of see what sorts of methods it has, what sorts of properties it has, and generally just to be aware that there is a class like that and now it won't complain anymore. Okay, so now we've got all of our uh, properties hooked up. I hope that was pretty easy to follow along and I appreciate you guys watching. Please share it with any of your friends or colleagues who are interested in iPhone development and help me spread the word. And as usual, the notes are in the description below as well as the link to the source code and the image assets. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.